Do you like nachos plain or loaded? Burrito bowl or tortilla wrap? Tacos or a guacamole burger? This video has all of this and more. Spice Nice, my name is Shweta and in this video I'm heading out to try some Mexican food. I'm so happy to partner with New York Burrito Company for this video and try out their quesadillas, tacos, nachos and so much more. I'm just drooling thinking about it already. So without further ado, let's just straight head to their chapati outlet and get this video started. Come on! Before I was actually coming here, I asked in my YouTube community what would you guys like me to enjoy eating here and all of you wrote dishes that were exactly what was in my mind. So the first thing that I'm going to be trying here is the burrito bowl. Now, I've always been fascinated with like the way a burrito bowl comes together so I'm just going to be taking you and showing you how they put it together. They had a variety of different bowl options. There was paneer, there was tofu, I even saw jackfruit, there was Tex-Mex but the one that really attracted me was the one with the peri peri potatoes. To the rice that you can see is the thicker rice. That's the one that they use in Mexican food. This is of course got guacamole and there is a creamy chipotle mayo. In terms of vegetables, there's corn, there's peppers, there's tomatoes, there's lettuce, there's onion. This is the large bowl and in my opinion it is enough for a meal. The cost of this bowl is rupees 3.99 and you'll find all the prices and everything even in the description box below all of these veggies on top, I feel it makes for a really nice filling yet a wholesome meal. So this is my burrito bowl. The good thing about Mexican food is that you end up eating a lot of raw veggies. I always love it with a lot of fresh lettuce on top. I think enough blabbering, now let's just dig in. Ton of cheese, mayo, peppers, capsicum and there you see the peri peri, the spiced potatoes. Mmm. I love potatoes, you love potatoes, we all love potatoes. The spice kind of hits you a little bit but the sauces and the rice helps tone it down. Every bite feels like such a burst of flavour. I have to say the crunchiness of the veggies got me like wow. We just tried the burrito bowl and now we are going to be trying the burrito wrap. So this is the Mediterranean burrito wrap. This is their newer variant. They told me I should definitely try this. So inside this is a paste made out of chickpeas. So you can say almost like hummus. Chickpeas is chana. Then there is falafel inside. This is also got like bits of paneer and I think even jerkins. The tortilla is really thin. You can see it's completely loaded inside. It was super creamy. And I think cost around rupees 350. My next dish is ready and uh, we have a wrap. So let's bite into this now. Every bite is like a burst of creaminess. The fact that this has got a lot more chickpeas, it's got falafel and it's got bits of paneer is making this one feel a little bit heavier than the rice one. So if you want a more filling meal, I would suggest you go in for this. I personally like burrito bowls better than the wrap. But if you like a wrap, then you can definitely go in for this. Alright, so I was watching them make my next dish. But right now, I am a little bit thirsty. So I have this. They have three drinks which they actually make in-house. One is a cucumber mint cooler, one is a hibiscus mint cooler and one is a dragon fruit cooler. Have you guys tried dragon fruit? It is one of those Thai fruits that now you get pretty easily in India and I love. Ha! Ah, very very refreshing. I can feel a little bit of mint, a little bit of lemon maybe, a hint. But otherwise it is tasting pretty much like dragon fruit. So here we have the guacamole burger and it is loaded. There's a lot of mayo around it and uh, inside it's got lettuce, it's got cheese, it's got of course guacamole and the patty in this is made of black beans. This is going to be one messy affair, at least that's what I think because look at this, like one press and this entire thing is going to drip down but I don't think I should do that, I should straight away have a bite. I haven't even gotten to the patty yet because it's just the veggies that have come in. There's so much fresh tomato inside, there's so much lettuce, it's just giving a different feel to the burger. The patty is nice and big, it is chunky, 
it's not feeling you know um, unnaturally crunchy on the outside like a lot of burgers end up feeling sometimes but um, it is quite yum and there's a generous amount of guacamole you can't see it it's probably hidden by the color of the mayo and one thing that i missed earlier is nachos so these are actual nachos chips that are adding a very a uh, different texture to it. I like having uh, Mexican food but in the form of a burger then I think this guacamole burger is it. This burger is all things nice if I can say so. Here we have the Mexican pizza and the Mexican pizza is actually made on a taco. There's beans on it, there's mozzarella cheese, there's lots of veggies, capsicum, onion. It's covered end to end costs around rupees 399 and if you were to order it at home then it would come in a box like this and they would also serve dips on the side oh my god This is a very very different feeling. I'll be honest with you, I thought it would feel like a khakra pizza. But the tortilla has become so beautifully crispy and it is very nicely holding all of this. It's not gone soggy in the center. Take a little bit of sour cream. A little bit of guacamole. Mm. Trying the smoky salsa now. Mm. The smoky salsa obviously has a very very strong burnt smoky flavour. Tones down the tanginess of the tomatoes. Personally for me, I think I'd prefer regular salsa as compared to this. I think things that work for me in this pizza are definitely the mix of the cheese. So there's mozzarella and there's cheddar and it's giving a very very beautiful flavour. What's interesting is uh, beans on pizza. I can't stop eating it with the guacamole and the sour cream. The guacamole is nice and uh, chunky and they told me that they use uh, imported avocados for it. All for Indian produce and all but I know the Indian avocados can be a little bit on the drier side whereas the imported ones are the more creamier ones and you can very easily whip them up into a smoothie or a guacamole like this. It may look small but uh, it's mighty. All of that cheese and the beans are going to fill you up. Um, one tip that I have to give you, have this pizza while it's nice and warm, enjoy the crunch of the tortilla and uh, yeah, you won't regret it. So we have the chili cheese quesadilla and uh, this is a large size quesadilla. In a large size you get 4 pieces and in a medium one you get 3 pieces. The large one costs rupees 299 and it's got green chili inside, it's got fresh jalapenos and uh, two different types of cheese. One is cheddar and one is the soft one which gives that nice melted feel. You're having like a nice burrito bowl if you're sharing especially. And you have this like warm quesadilla on the side then uh, you're definitely going to enjoy your meal. This is still super duper warm to touch. It's actually it's hot to touch and here I'm going to be opening one up for you. So you can see it's literally just cheese and chilli as the name suggests. And uh, it's got a little bit of herbs, I think it's oregano. have to eat this when this is piping hot. The tortilla is made of maida, all-purpose flour. And it kind of loses its uh, bite as it gets cold. And even the cheese, like that warm cheese, you have to enjoy it when it's piping hot. You can try the regular quesadillas also with the mixed veggies. But if you want something a little bit more cheesy, then try the chili cheese one. Now we have the tacos here. Now there are two kinds of tacos that you can find here. The soft shell ones and the hard shell ones. And I'm just trying the hard shell ones today. There's beans inside. So this you can get three pieces for 249 and two pieces for 199 Mayo and the cheese is looking awesome. They just like look so perfect. I don't feel like biting into them but I uh, have to. I think in this, the fresh tomato, beans, they all just give such a juicy, yummy feeling. Now we finally have nachos. I wanted to keep nachos for the last because 
I saved the best for the last. I think that's how I like to put it. But nachos is like my entry into Mexican food. There's refried beans, there's guacamole, there's um, onion, tomatoes, sour cream, and uh, I think they use all of their three kinds of salsa that they have in it. The first thing that I ever tried in India, in Mumbai, in terms of Mexican cuisine has been nachos. You know, the nachos with the nice tangy ketchup wala salsa sauce and that loaded cheese sauce. But here they make it a little bit more uh, closer to actual Mexican cuisine. You can see these chips, they're very, very different than nachos that you find in most regular restaurants. They're really, really thin. Just a hint of seasoning of salt, but otherwise they're absolutely plain. Oh my god. Mm. Yes, they definitely use a salsa which has a little bit of a spicy feel. Uh, the fresh veggies on top are everything when it comes to Mexican cuisine and at New York Burrito Company, I feel like they've added a generous amount of that on top. What I like is that they've not overdone the sour cream and the mayo. Whenever I think of Mexican dessert, I normally think of churros, but I never realized that Trelicious. I don't even know if I'm pronouncing it correctly, but the name is going to be on the screen. My apologies if I'm not pronouncing it right. That is supposed to be a Mexican dessert and it's essentially a cake with lots and lots of milk. So condensed milk, it is evaporated milk. It's dipped in that and then topped with heavy cream. And uh, this is how it looks. You enjoy it chilled. And you guys, this is eggless by the way. See that layer of cream on top? Doesn't seem that thick when you look at it from the top, but sideways, it's quite a chunky cream spot. Mm. It's melt in your mouth. More than melt in your mouth, it's vanished in your mouth. This is very, very good guys. Because of the milk, the sponge gets really moist. I personally love cake with like any kind of cream on top. It's just a personal favorite. So I can't believe I haven't indulged in more of Threlicious in my life. I think I've tried literally everything that I could at New York Burrito Company, but this is something that I still haven't tried. These are Epiphany snacks and you can find them on their website. I'm going to leave details of it in the description box below. Nut based or dry fruit based roasted snacks. And uh, I think I'm going to be opening one of these and showing you. There's almonds and uh, there's pista. There are a few more varieties. You'll find that in their website. But let's try the pista one. Oh, I thought um, they'll be like whole pistas tossed or something. But these are seeming like little snackables. Hmm, these are nice. And I'm seeing the ingredients. They have pista, brown rice syrup, low carb sweetener, Himalayan pink salt which is what gave it that little bit of saltiness. New York Burrito Company is the brainchild of Senil Shah and it took shape because of Senil's passion for authentic Mexican food and his dream to introduce India to this vibrant cuisine. New York Burrito Company has 14 outlets across Mumbai right now and they are in the process of opening 8 more outlets including one at the International Airport and four across Inox theatres. They are also coming out with some fab new dishes in the menu in the coming months. So that was my experience at New York Burrito Company. If you are tempted, which I'm sure you are, then do give them a try. Find them on Google Maps, Zomato, Swiggy and let me know how you enjoyed their meal. Don't forget to share this video with all of your friends and family who love Mexican food and hit that thumbs up, not just for me or the yummy food, but also for all of the staff members that have been so supportive of me shooting here. That is really it from me. I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Bye!